so, like many others, I'm now part of the, uh, the SSVA. The Steam Cell Victims Anonymous Club. <laughs> for, for those people who Gabe took for a, a vicious dark ride through cheap games. And this was one of them. Natural Selection 2. And it was probably the best game I picked up from the Steam Cell. I played this a while ago in the beta and... I didn't really enjoy it that much because it didn't make me feel, well the graphics weren't as good as they are now, but it didn't make me feel sort of immersed and I've been looking for a good alien style game for, I feel forever. But there's just something about the atmosphere in this game now where it makes me feel like, um, you know, like we, you do when you watch aliens and they're trapped on a spaceship and, you know, they're fighting for the lives, you've got to team up with their teammates to get out of there. Admittedly there are some moments that you detract from that, like that pig thing there being called Indiana Jew. But there's such there's so many cool details in this. Like the slime on that gun. I don't know if you notice there, but when it was on it was sort of like glistening and actually sliding down on it. It's just so awesome. It just reminds me so much of the feeling you got when you first played Dead Space 2 and you know you went to the children's nursery so you could like tell a story of what had happened on the space station. But I'll tell you a bit about the game in case what I've shown you so far interests you. Basically, it's a multiplayer game. Oh, just look at that cool flick axe. I was going to say flick knife there, but it's actually a flick axe that you can, like, it's just the coolest animation. And even when you get your gun out, it, like, it, like, compacts itself when you put it in your, in your holster. And then it, like, uncompacts itself when you get it back out like that. It's just so cool. Now, what get here? We're going back to my, uh, the, the other base here. In that big box thing that we just walked past, that's where the commander is. And I'll show you a little bit of gameplay of that in a second. Because this isn't just a first-person shooter. There's actually, it's kind of like StarCraft blended with a first-person shooter in that, you, you, there's, there's a guy who basically controls what goes on, on the map, and he can plant all these things that you sometimes see we have to build, like plow nodes and things. And you've got to take back all of the space station, and then once you've taken it back, you can eventually destroy the aliens, the aliens hive. And all these guys here, they're not AI characters; they're actual other players who can play as the as the aliens. But I'm not very good at those, so I'm just going to show you in this video uh, the marines. And then, if you're interested, you'll have to you know rate the video and then i'll i'll make another one on the aliens and perhaps some stuff when i get a little bit better at the game but i hope you like it because it's a really good game and i want to put up some more videos of it now i'm in a bit of a pickle here because my teammate just died and i'm the only guy holding down this side of the space station now and mccann just put this here this extractor which i've got to build and the aliens are coming around to get me but i'll show you some commander gameplay now and i'll leave the live commentary and so you can listen to it all right now i'm a noob okay frankly you're actually commanding yeah yeah i'm the commander Breaking my heart, man. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm planting you an ammo box, guys. Can I drop this extractor here and grab Soldier it? needs order. Okay, now I don't know where that. I don't know where that is. Soldier needs order. I'll find you. I'm pinging it over here. Soldier needs oh, order. Oh, I see it. I see it. Okay, 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 okay. I'm over you. Oh wait, that's. Objective completed. Oh, I did it. There you go, guys. We're such a elite team. Now what do I do? <laughs> I'm not a troll, dude. I've never played this game. I want to build some jetpacks. Do I need one of these? Fuck it, I've built that. I don't know what it does. Upgrades. How do I? How do I upgrade? You need to tell me. <laughs> All right, I'll build you another one. Oh, now we got three. Fuck that. We can build an army. As you can see, guys, I, I tried my best as the commander. Johnny Rico would have been proud. But now we've got to defend our second base here, because we've got warp gates linking us from one to the other. So if you've got two bases, then you can build these exosuits, which have got dual miniguns on them, just like the ones in Avatar. And they are just so good at, at taking out the aliens. But you've got to keep repairing them. Because if you don't keep repairing them, then uh, obviously they get taken down. And that's what the welding torch there is for. And the best thing is, and this is quite a good way of doing it, I think, in like team-based games. If you weld other people, it actually heals up your armor at the same time as well. I really do love the atmosphere of this game. Though. I mean, even if you just listen to like the miniguns and those exosuits, they, they sound so much like the cool rifle sound. Like just here. I mean, they sound just... So, even the grenade noise, it sounds so much like aliens. And I've really wanted like a, a brutal space game. For such a long time. You know, like when you watch Starship Troopers and they get ripped to pieces and stuff. Like you want that kind of feeling like you're that vulnerable. Because when you're playing against the uh, the Skulks, which are like the basic level of Alien. 
when they get close to you, you're basically at a massive disadvantage as a Marine, so you've got to be really careful about where you are, because they're super dangerous, the enemies, especially if it's a good player who you're playing against. Now, you're probably wondering what all this alien gunk everywhere is. Basically, the aliens take over the space station by putting down these cyst things, which I'm just burning here with the blowtorch to get rid of them. And then from those grows all this nasty gunk stuff. And that's kind of how they take over the space station. The Marines take it back by destroying them and then putting in power nodes to, like, repower the whole space station. Team and I just repairing up this little artillery drone here. And this clip is really cool, actually, because I got split off in an attack from the rest of the Marines, but managed to survive. And there's this power node here I'm trying to repair, but I'm right in the center of the aliens part of the station at the moment. And then this big fella appears, who, <laughs> fortunately, We've managed to research jetpacks, which is what I'm using at the moment, or this thing would run me down really easily. So I could kind of hop away from him. I need to get in this vent before he gets me. And it was just like, he's, he's snorting behind me. It was such a cool moment, that. You don't get it in very, in, in very many multiplayer games. But now I'm in the vents, and what I've learned from aliens is that being in the vents is never a good thing. Unfortunately, that guy is still out there. I could shoot that guy all day and he wouldn't drop. You need like two exosuits to take him out, which is what we're doing here. Uh, this is where we're taking out one of the enemy's bases. Got some flamethrower guys, lost some marines, repair guys. And we're just going to charge in here and take out as many as we possibly can. But these two exosuits are absolutely going to rip through them. Because of course it's not just the marines who've got a commander. Uh, in a second when I run around there I'll show you. But this massive eye looking thing on the left here, that is the commander unit for the enemy. I don't think there's actually anybody in it at the moment because this is their secondary base. But you've got to take out that because uh, that's how you basically win the game. You take out all of the other team's commander units. I mean just listen to the sound effects. Now as you'd imagine in a team based game like this how well you do generally depends on how good the commander is and sometimes you can join a server where it's completely unbalanced one way because one commander like me doesn't have a clue what's going on but if you get a game where both commanders are sort of equally good and your team's equally good it is so good and these rounds can last like 30 40 minutes sometimes and you feel like a real sense of accomplishment when you finish them but i managed to get myself an exosuit here i didn't get the dual minigun one minigun one because we're actually losing this round but this one's got a rail gun and a mechanical claw you can grab the enemies with and i got this pig thing here nailed it <laughs> but you can charge up the rail gun as well to take them out but this this is a little bit weaker this suit than the than the dual miniguns one so as you'll see in a second we just get absolutely stomped by two of their owners the, the owners are like the massive bull things you can see one running away there but this was natural selection too uh, depending on how many people watch and rate this i'll you know i'll depend you know if nobody wants to watch it then i won't put it up anymore because i've got some really cool videos coming up as well i've got some day z because uh, the aftermath mod is nearly finished i'm gonna be playing some of that hopefully this weekend and then putting some out next week for you but there's some really cool stuff coming up but thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next chapter